so let's start with get request and for that we will have to manually add some data here so let's say test and for date okay so in our home page we will make this get request so let's uh, import use effect because we will make request when the component mount it will be an async request we fetch and we need the endpoint which is this one Let's just console log the data first and in use effect we will call this get data. So as you can see we got array which have two elements because we have these two rows so this is our date email message name date email message name ok so let's store this data and replace this dummy content and for that we will need use state also And here we will say set data to this data and we will replace this dummy array data dot map and here item dot date and we will replace this name with item dot name item dot email and then item dot message so let's save it now we can see this is the data we are getting back from google sheet and here in network request if you take a look you can see this this is the endpoint we made request to so if you remember in our google sheet share we have set this option where anyone with the link can edit this sheet 
so for this video I am not securing this endpoint but uh, for real world scenarios this shouldn't be visible so the best way is to perform these CRUD operations uh, on server side and from our front end just call our API but in this series I will perform the CRUD operations uh, only in this front end because we don't have backend for uh, for this application okay so we have successfully retrieved the data so in the next video we will see how to add data to react uh, to google sheet